House will come to order. Members, please take your seats. Sergeant at Arms. The House is now in session. All persons not entitled to the privileges of the floor, please retire to the gallery. The members will rise and be led in prayer by the Reverend Grace Hahn, lead pastor, Trinity United Methodist Church, Alexandria, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag of the United States of America, which will be led by the delegate from Alexandria, Delegate Herring. Let us pray together. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Almighty and gracious God, we gather this afternoon with the humble acknowledgement that we do not gather alone. We gather standing on the shoulders of the giants who have paved the path before us, and we gather with the awesome responsibility to care for the generations that come after us. And so as we come in this particular place, let us do so with the wisdom and discernment to be formed by our past and look forward to our future. God of grace, we thank you for all who have stepped up to serve their neighborhood, their community, this commonwealth. Guide them in carrying out the tasks before them. Give them eyes to see and ears to hear, for you have made them both. Help us remember that we are all created in the image of God and help us to see that image in one another. Remind us again and again that we are inextricably linked together. And when one suffers, we suffer together. When one rejoices, we rejoice together. So let us not forget those who are too often overlooked, the poor, the hungry, the persecuted, those who mourn and thirst for righteousness. God, we pray for your grace and mercy, particularly in the midst of conflicts, doubts, and debates. Let us speak boldly in truth with the humility and patience to respond with kindness. Let us choose love over hate, humanity over power, hope over fear, so that together we can face the task before us to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with one another. We pray in God's holy name. Amen. Amen. Members will answer the roll call by indicating their presence on the electronic voting board. Ms. Lopez. The clerk will close the roll. Uh, Mr. Speaker, a, a quorum is present. So into House Rule 3, I've examined and approved the Journal of the House of Delegates for February 7, 2024. Motions and resolutions under Rule 39, pursuant to the provisions of Rule 40, are now in order. Does the clerk have any announcements or communications? Uh, Ms. Speaker, um, no uh, communications uh, are announced at this, at this time. Accordingly, in this first portion of the morning hour, pursuant to House Rule 40, the Speaker requests you use the Request to Speak button for the agenda items listed by reference uh, on the voting boards. Delegate from Arlington, Delegate Lopez. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to introduce uh, uh, the, the pastor gave the invocation today. Delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, today I'd like to introduce the individual and also members of the amazing religious community that gave our prayer this morning, uh, this afternoon. Giving our invocation today was Reverend Grace Hahn. Reverend Hahn is the lead pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church in Alexandria. As the daughter of pastors and missionaries, Reverend Hahn grew up all over the world as well as across the United States before settling in Virginia. 
She graduated from Yale Divinity School in 2009, was ordained in the Virginia Annual Conference of the UMC in 2017. In addition to visiting us today to do the invocation, Reverend Hahn and a great group of her uh, church members are here to see the passage of HJ 127, commending Trinity United Methodist Church on their 250th anniversary. I would ask the members of the community to, uh, to also stand with Reverend Hahn. Um, Trinity United Methodist is in the northern part of Alexandria in the third district, and it's played an important part in some significant moments in history. On November 20th, 1774, a 17-year-old pastor named William Duke founded First Methodist Society in Alexandria, which would ultimately adopt the name Trinity United Methodist Church. Members may be aware that in May of 1785, two lead Methodist pastors of America at the time, Francis A. Asbury and Thomas Koch, came to Virginia to speak to George Washington to advocate for the end of slavery. What members probably don't know is that the leaders at Trinity United Methodist at the time hosted and housed Pastor A. Asbury and Pastor Koch during that visit. Trinity Methodist, uh, United Methodist Church's legacy of outreach and service dates back to 1816 when the church established its Society for the Relief of the Poor. The church has since engaged in an untold number of mission and social work activities and made an impact in communities both locally and globally. And I think the most important element of their 250-year history is the fact that Trinity United Methodist proudly opens its doors to people of all walks of life without exception, recognizing the sacred worth and dignity of all individuals. Mr. Speaker, I hope that the members today will give Reverend Hahn and the members of Trinity United Methodist a warm house welcome. And Mr. Speaker, and Mr. Welcome, welcome Reverend Hahn and welcome Trinity. And Mr. Speaker, I would move to take HJ 127 up out of order. Delegate from Arlington, Delegate Lopez, moves to take HJ 127 uh, up out of order. The clerk will report the resolution. House Joint Resolution 127, commending Trinity United Methodist Church. With that, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Speaker, I would move that we pass HJ 127. Shall the resolution be adopted? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Thank you. Delegate from Hampton, Delegate Cardoso.